Hi, on. Hi all, welcome back to a new episode of this Arduino series. And right now we are learning the OLED. And in the previous video, we have created one custom image and displayed the content of the image on our OLED display. And in today's video, we are going to learn how can we create animations on the OLED. So we are going to take one custom animation and we will display it on that OLED screen. So are you ready? Let's kick up today's video. Dogs and me, the never ending bond. So what we have done in our previous video is really simple, right? Just ignore the dogs and okay guys, nobody will ignore them. What we have done in our previous video, we have taken one image. We have converted that image into a bitmap and the bitmap code is added inside our Arduino code. So that was the simple task, right? For the animation, we are going to do the same process. But the difference is, we are going to take one animation, then convert the animation into the number of frames and each frame, that is one image, will be converted into the bitmap and that bitmap will be added inside the Arduino code. Now let's see how can we do that. Follow me to the laptop. So you can start downloading the file that is given in the description. And here you can see one main thing that is the GIF file. So let me open this one. And as you can see here, this GIF contents a stick man walking. So this man is walking on the path. This animation will be showed on the OLED display. Now, what do we need to do? So, we have to convert this GIF into frames. As I told you previously, the GIF file or animation or video, whatever is moving, that is a collection of few pictures. So now, let me open Google and search for GIF to frame converter. You can see many options are there, but I find this one is little easier. So what you have to do here, upload your GIF file here. So let me choose this one. Now here is the file. Click on open. And as you can see, the GIF is uploaded here like this. And now click on extract frames. And as you can see here, all the frames are already showing. See, one by one, all the frames are there. Now, download all these frames. Okay, download all frames as dot chip. So, that will be saved in your folder like this. As you can see here, this is all the frames I have here. Now, we are going to follow our previous step. That means, remember, in our previous video, we have converted any random picture to the coding format. For that, let's go back to the same website, image2cpp, and you can find all these links in our blog. So here, you can select the images. So click here, and you can choose the image, go to frames, and control all. Now click on open. It might take some time to upload all the images and you can see there are total 16 number of images. So something like this and you can see the size here 128 cross 64. So that means it is similar to our OLED display. Now in the next step here you can choose the background color as white or black or transparent. Oh, we don't have to change all these options and here in the preview you can see these are all the images now go to output choose your the code format and obviously we are going to choose the arduino code and after that epd bitmaps it is the prefix and just click on generate code it will take no time 
to create all this code and you can see here all the frames are converted into the binary form hey stop i know this is an interruption but i want to tell you that we have started one arduino course and just in seven days you can learn from scratch to an expert level so if you don't want to miss the chance do check out the skill hub by embedded brew and good news is first 50 participants will get this course for free and for that you can use this coupon code and remember just 50 now copy output click on here now let's open up our Arduino IDE and in this section you can paste it in this part as I said in the previous video all the images are converted to the bitmap now so we can simply select all this and replace with whatever we have changed now and now let's understand the code first of all we have this wire.h then adafruit gfx.h and adafruit sst 1306h these are the libraries for the oled then we define the oled screen width as 128 and height as 64 these are the number of pixels now this will initialize the adafruit display then we have this frame delay of 70 after that here you can see constant unsigned character then here it is the EPD bitmap stickman working 1 so this is for the frame 1 these are the bitmap now here for the frame 2 you can see the bitmap here similarly here is the frame 3 in that way we have total 16 number of frames and we are using Arduino Nano and in the Arduino Nano we can't store this much of data this much of code cannot be uploaded so this 16 number frame I am making it as a comment so that this will be disabled and here we are declaring the unsigned character as EPD bitmap all array and here you can see there are total 16 number of frames so 16 arrays after that in the void setup function if display begin like this and this is the address this is the OLED address then we have the serial if the address is not capturing properly then in the serial print we can see SSD 1306 allocation failed now in the void loop section for the frame 1 we are adding here display dot clear display this will clear the OLED screen then draw the bitmap as given in the bitmap stickman working one then display dot display and then the frame delay will be here after that here you can see again in this section the stickman working two this is the frame two similarly frame three in that way we are declaring all the 16 in this particular code we are using 15 frames now if frame delay is greater than 50 then frame delay equal to frame delay minus 20 that means frame delay will be reduced and the animation will be smooth now choose the board so here we have already chosen the Arduino Nano that is on COM12 now click on upload now take your Arduino Nano and the OLED connect the OLED with the Nano with the required circuit diagram and we just need four wires the complete circuit diagram the code and even the animation everything is given in our blog to check out the blog and the link is in the description below so now let me connect this USB cable here the code is already uploaded to the Nano so you can directly see the animation on the screen some line you can see that is because of the shutter speed let me show you a clear one so as you can see here clearly it is visible that the stick man is working properly see that's how the animation is happening on the oled so that's all about our today's video i hope that this tutorial is helpful for you if you like it then don't forget to hit on that like button share it with your friends and if you have any thoughts the comment section is all yours 
and don't forget to check out the skill hub by embedded brew and use this coupon code to learn arduino just in seven days for free so don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit that bell icon so that whenever i will upload a new video you can get the instant notification see you in the next one till then be cool work smart